Welcome to the fourth installment in our series of dinosaur dozens, the Ceratopians, or Ceratopsians, or Ceratopsids, whatever you want to call them, the horn plant eaters. Now, this was one of the last branches of dinosaurs to develop. All these dinosaurs lived in the late Cretaceous period, so there's not much point in bringing that up for each of them individually like I usually do. Microceratus used to be called Microceratops, and many of its fossils have been assigned to Gracilisceratops. Although it had a frill behind its head, it had no horns at all, and unlike all other Ceratopians, it walked and probably ran on two legs. It lived in Mongolia 90 million years ago. Psittacosaurus was a very primitive Ceratopian. It didn't have horns or even the impressive neck frill seen in later species but it did have their distinctive parrot-like beak. It was a peaceful plant eater that walked on two legs. It lived in Asia, and it's the only one here that didn't live in the late Cretaceous. Instead, it's from the early Cretaceous, 123 to 100 million years ago. Protoceratops was one of the first horned dinosaurs. Its well-developed neck frill was probably colorful and used for display. Scientists have found more fossils of this creature than any other dinosaur, including perfectly preserved eggs in nests. It lived in Mongolia 75 to 71 million years ago. Chasmosaurus was an average-sized ceratopian with three horns. Its neck frill was long and angular, with two large openings called fenestrae, which probably helped to lighten the weight of the animal's skull. It lived in North America 76 to 75 million years ago. It's worth mentioning, by the way, that from this point on, the dozen follows a pretty standard pattern. A name ending in Saurus, then a name ending in Ceratops. Saurus, Ceratops, Saurus, Ceratops. That's the whole pattern from this point on. Styracosaurus had one of the most unique heads among Ceratopians. It had a single long horn on its nose, and its neck frill was bordered with a wreath of long spikes. All those spikes could scare away even the hungriest predators who might want to attack it. It lived in North America 75 million years ago. Anchiceratops is a horned dinosaur known for its rectangular frill. It had three horns, like many Ceratopians, and a pair of bony knobs towards the end of its frill in the middle. The holes in its frill, the fenestrae, were not as large as those in species like Chasmosaurus and Taurosaurus. Again, it lived in North America, 72 to 71 million years ago. Centrosaurus is a horned dinosaur known for the pair of horns curling inwards at the top of its neck frill. It had another, much longer horn on its nose. Centrosaurus bone beds in southern Alberta indicate that these animals lived in huge herds and probably migrated with the seasons. It lived in Canada 76 to 75 million years ago. Orhinoceratops had a broad neck frill with two oval shaped openings. Its horns were much shorter than most other Ceratopians, and its nose horn in particular was so stumpy that at first people didn't think it had one at all, hence its name. It too lived in Canada 70 million years ago. Although Pachyrhinosaurus was a Ceratopian, experts are unsure whether or not it had a nose horn. A couple of horns grew up from its frill, but its snout bore a huge flattened bump called a boss, which may or may not have housed a horn like a modern rhinos. It lived in North America 73 to 69 million years ago. Although Pentaceratops' name means five-horned face, it only had three actual horns. The other two were long spikes that protruded out sideways from its cheeks. Pentaceratops was one of the largest Ceratopians, and like all its relatives, it lived on a diet of plants. It lived in the USA 76 to 73 million years ago. Taurosaurus had one of the largest skulls of any known land animal. Its skull, from the nose to the tip of its long neck frill, was about as long as a small car. Like most other Ceratopians, its frill had two large openings that, in life, would have been covered with thin skin. It lived in the USA 68 to 65 million years ago. And finally, 
Triceratops is the largest, most common, and best known of the horned dinosaurs. Unlike all its other relatives, its neck frill had no holes, but instead was all solid bone. Great herds of these huge plant eaters would have covered western North America at the end of the Cretaceous period. It lived, as I just mentioned, in North America 68 to 65 million years ago.